Good afternoon everyone, the Identical Gamer here, playing another fantastic episode, a uh, game of StarCraft 2. Straight into the match, I GLH Def. It took me, th like, I think a minute and a half to render the map for some reason, because I started recording during the process of it loading the map, so there's two things going on in the hard drive, and it really screwed them over. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I didn't want to tell him I was recording the match because I, he might have just GG'd and exited out. I also spelled background wrong. Oh well. <sighs> so straight off the bat, I'm just doing the usual. Just building pylons, building pylons. So I pulled my first pile on down on 9, which is 9 referring to the population. And I was getting some energy for Chrono Boost in the meantime, which accumulates over time itself. Keep cranking out more probes. Anyways. So, I put the assimilator up on, I think it was 10, 10 or 11 probes, which is generally, it's pretty good. So most Some people put it up on 13 because they want to get the extra minerals and don't want to spend it on the assimilator, get the gateway up quickly. I chrono boosted out some probes here, so I get more money qui more quickly. So, what you want to do with an assimilator, I if you're playing Protoss or any other, um, action for that matter. has always put three worker units inside of it, whether it be a drone, an SCV, or a probe. Uh, three units will generally give you a pretty quick supply per simulator. Four would just be overkill and two would not be the maximum amount of rate you could get per second. It's warping in a gateway at the same time here. And war and probe puts down a pylon. Obviously, looking for the increased population cap because I was 15 to 18 right about now. And once that gateway gets down, I'm going to put a cybernetics core up because I want to have a couple of functioning gateways that are all ring on a. Um, warp gate, which is the ability to warp into pylons. I was waiting for that to get up so I could put the cybernetics core down. And for some reason, cybernetics core hotkey in this game is Y. I keep thinking it's C because it's cybernetics core. It's makes sense to me that way. So I wanted to plop down an extra gateway in the meantime. I don't know why, but I don't think... Yeah, I wasn't producing any zealots in the meantime. Which I should have been doing to take down that uh, rock in the way. Zealots are a very expensive unit. I'll give you that. They cost about 100 each. They take up two population. But what they do excel in in the early game is they are extremely powerful. They do have a lot of... HP and a lot of attack and a lot of defense. So if you're able to crank out a couple of zealots early game, get them in the enemy base, might make them GG. You never know. It's just StarCraft, anything can happen. So I get that Cybernetics Core down, start the warp gate. I didn't chrono boost straight off the bat, which is ridiculous, honestly. I chrono boosted a couple of seconds late. Eh, StarCraft is a game of all about timing. You want to get everything right, you want to keep. Going and going, pushing. I started a pro a pylon just near there, near the end of the product, the mineral line. Mineral line refers to the minerals beside your first base or any base for that matter that has probes going in and out. Starting to crank up the stalkers now, and I'm putting down another gateway. I didn't do any scouting in the meantime. It's 
hard to do scouting in practice league because that dirt block in the way is really just to stop harassment. I mean, practice league's kind of boring for that reason because there's only maybe five or six or seven maps in practice league, which isn't a lot at all. And you have to play 50 matches. The requirement is practice league, play 50 matches, and then you get out of practice league. Hell on earth. And it'll... The whole reason for doing practice league is if you play well, then you get to go straight into silver league or gold league or whatever. If you do well. Uh, if you don't, then bronze league. Blizzard has spaced it out. So bronze league is 20%. Silver league is 20%. Gold league is 20%. Um, I think platinum league was 20%. The top... Which is so the top four fifths, the top 60-80 percent are in platinum league. Then I think diamond was like nine, 18 percent, and you know, it was 19.8 percent. And then masters league was 0.1, and then grandmasters is another 0.1 on top of that. Generally, if you go up to masters league, there is no difference in masters and grandmasters league. I mean, there's a couple of tiny touches by Blizzard, but if you're in masters league. Grandmaster League is not much of a step, it's just more of a status quo. Looks just looks nicer really. Are you in you're in Masters League? I'm in Grandmasters League. Sad face. <sighs> so I was plot I plot uh, uh plot my Nexus Nexus down right there for my expansion. I also generally what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that extra probe. Intriguing. Send him up. I really could not figure out where is he? Because obviously you can't do the scouting, so you don't get to know where he is. So that probe I'm gonna use to plop down a Oh yeah, I had problems with this, I was going, where should I summon? There we go. And I was debating whether or not to split my units up. So I said oh, I'll just attack this. There was no immediate reaction, so I thought he wasn't there, but I thought it'd be nice to put a pylon up there just in case. So I finished warp technology and they're all ready to warp in. Put two pylons down for population's sake. Yeah, population. Supply, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Get these extra stalkers and help them break down the rock. And maybe if there's anything up there I can take it down in the meantime. Unfortunately, there is nothing up here, meaning it is elsewhere. Oh, goody. Means i got to go look for it. And I did not look at what race the enemy was, whether it was Turin or Protoss or whatever. Put down a few probes and do a switch. So, grab a couple of them. Two, three, four. Yeah. That does not at all saturate the mineral line. A saturated mineral line is like 27 probes. I only generally have like a couple. And he had a, he has a lot of zerglings. I'll give him that. A lot of zerglings. They take down my stalkers pretty quickly. Because the stalkers don't know how to fight for themselves. See how many? See how easy those zerglings took down all those stalkers? Ridiculous. So I thought he was going to rush down and maybe take out my base a bit or something. So I wanted to get this pile on up here that he would see. So I placed the pile on down, then go hide my. Come on, do it. Yeah, and I thought because he'd attack my base, maybe I should put more stalkers down. Place another gateway down. So send that probe behind, I think it's the steam cloud or something, I cannot remember the name, but it's a layer of gas that erupts from vents, and you cannot see behind 